In the last update, I gave indication that I thought Pilot Flying J was prepping for a flurry of activity with opening stations, and sure enough, that did happen. This past week, on Thursday and Friday, eight stations were opened, which equates to the largest increase in stations since the start of this project, when eight stations were opened all on the same day. Before we get into the update, let's go over some viewer-supplied media. This is West Memphis, Arkansas, supplied by Landon at the Arkansas E-Traveler. He stopped by. This location is not in the EVgo app. He was able to initiate a charge with a plug-in charge. He just plugged into his Blazer EV, and he was able to initiate the charge. And I'm assuming that the credit card swiper or tap to pay would work as well. There's his Blazer EV in all of its candy apple red glory. Very pretty car. And in a second, you'll see the bow tie light up. Boom! Very pretty car, very pretty station, and in a location that's very important because it's right across uh, the Mississippi River on Interstate 40 in an area that was a bit dearth of uh, EV charging, but has now got the gap filled in. Wider view of the station, very nice looking station. They have these upgraded garbage cans with the uh, built-in uh, windshield squeegees. Steve was taking an Ionic 6, and if you haven't seen, Steve released a video onto his YouTube channel where he compares the Ionic 5 to the Ionic 6, and a lot of people have been putting in good comments on that video, thanking him for doing so, because it's a fair question to ask, which is a better fit, and the answer is it depends on what you're going to be doing. So he does a really good job of going over both cars, and he was taking this car for a spin, and he came across this Pilot Flying J that was found to be under construction. I did not know about this location. He was kind enough to share that with me. And Sudabridge, Massachusetts apparently is pretty hilly because there's a ramp coming up to the location and they had to like grade in order to have these additional parking spaces over on this back area over here. And here's a close-up of the station. As you can see, the dispensers still have the cables wrapped in plastic. Typically they do that while they're waiting for something. In this case, it's a um, transformer, which is missing, that they'll be putting in at a later time. And then they'll take the plastic off when it's in the final stages. You can see the store back over here. I'm not quite sure what fast food restaurant that is, but Pilot will have some kind of fast food restaurant in the facility. So we have that to look for. Let's go ahead and get to the update. EVgo released their slide deck for the investor relations with the earnings for the Q3. And as you can see, uh, there is a section in there where they talk about the EVgo Extend, which is basically the Pilot project. And on September 30th, there was 290 stalls. And if you divide that by four, that's 72.5. You might say, well, why is 72.5 instead of an even number? And this is the number of stations because typically they have four stalls per station. And the reason is some stations have like one or two that are knocked off the database because they're under uh, repair. In the case of North Carolina, there's one station that has five stalls because it has an additional charger with a Chatamo handle. Um, so that's why it's not exact. Um, and open and under construction, they say 620. So if you subtract the 290 from the 620, you get 330. And if you divide that by four, you get 82.5. 82.5 stations is pretty close to what we know to be spotted under construction. It's not exact, but it's nice to have some kind of confirmation from EVgo's official numbers that we're at least in the right ballpark. Here's the graph, and as you can see, we're in a hockey stick turnup of activity towards the end of the year. Right now we're at 84, and if I had to guess, we're going to be over triple digits before Christmas. Getting into the update, everything underneath Rutherford Glen, Virginia is under construction. Everything Rutherford Glen and up is open. Let's go ahead and get into it. West Memphis, Arkansas is right here. That's the one pictured by Landon. And... Cotilla, these three south of San Antonio all opened up. That's Cotilla, Texas, Laredo, Texas, and George West. And for some reason, there was a lot of excitement when George West opened. So apparently, uh, the locals had a difficult time doing EV road trips into Corpus Christi. And um, this filled in a big gap for them. So good to hear about that. Union Point, Georgia, I did a site visit video for. It's right here on Interstate 20 outside of Atlanta. And it should be noted that now Atlanta, no matter which direction you leave... Any interstate, you're going to run into one of these stations now. It's completely circled by Pilot Flying J stations. Austinburg, Ohio is up here. Uh, Canton, Ohio, a little bit to the south. Eaton, Ohio, a little bit to the west. Rutherford Glen, Virginia, on Interstate 95 in Virginia. And under construction, Marion, Illinois, in southern Illinois. 
uh, Studer Bridge, Massachusetts, up here, the one that Steve was showing us some pictures of. Kannapolis, North Carolina is very close to my house, and I just stopped by there on a whim, and sure enough, there was construction fencing up there prepping for a station. Winnemucca, Nevada, over here, was actually under construction for a while, but it wasn't in my bookmarks, and so it was a bit of a sucker punch for me. I just happened to stumble across it this past week. Snowville, Utah is a Nevi site that's in northern Utah. This is what it looks like in table form. I'll pause here for a second. Price has continued to fall. I haven't seen the price go up in a long time. The top price is still 69 cents. As I mentioned, we do not know the price of West Memphis, so when I calculated the average, I took one station out of the average uh, math. Uh, and once we find this out, we'll fill it in. But 45 cents is still the lowest price, 69 cents still the highest price. Nothing really changed there. We have 84 open, 59 spotted under construction. Texas is still in the lead. Um, Illinois, surprisingly, didn't have any just a few months ago and now has five. That's pretty significant in my opinion. Interstate 40 still has the most stations, but if you look, Interstate 80 is also starting to creep up pretty quickly. Interstate 10 has six. Um, Interstate 75 was the leader for a long time. It's now in second place. The central time zone has 32 open, 24 spotted under construction. The eastern time zone has 46 open, 21 spotted under construction. The mountain time zone has 2 open and 12 spotted under construction. Pacific time zone has 4 open and 2 spotted under construction. The, there's been a little bit of activity in the Nevi world. Anything with a check mark over here uh, indicates it's new. So for instance, Austinburg, Ohio, 68 cents is now open. And Snowville, Utah has been spotted under construction. I'm going to go ahead and roll the slide deck that shows all the canopy locations, both open, spotted under construction, as well as all the data tables. Thanks for watching.